Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, to our fans and everybody tuning in online and on TV, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce two great gentlemen that are going to help bring us back to where we belong. Um, we started this process shortly after the season was over. We wanted to make sure that we took our time, that we were thorough, to find the best combination of people for a head coach and a general manager that can work together and bring this organization back to the pinnacle. There's a lot of work in front of us. You know, there's certainly not a lot of time to celebrate on, on just making a hire. It, it's now time to get to work, and um, I'm going to turn it over to, to these guys to introduce themselves, and then we'll turn it over to you guys for questions. Thanks, Jed. You know, um, I, I, uh, I first want to uh, thank everybody for coming on out today. Um, I must take a moment to show my appreciation to Jed, uh, Danielle, the entire York family uh, for, for really showing the confidence in Kyle and I uh, with this awesome responsibility of, uh, of, of, of the task of bringing the, the 49er organization back to where it belongs, uh, and that's, that's competing for championships. Um, I also want to thank uh, my family, starting with my wife, Linda, and my kids. Um, <clears throat> they were going to surprise me today uh, and fly up here. She was pulling the kids out of school. They got fogged in in San Diego. So unfortunately, they aren't here. But, um, you know, it was a big, um, a big change for them. And it was important that they bought in. And they're incredibly excited. And so I want to thank them. Um, I also want to thank... Uh, Everybody who I was working for at Fox, they were uh, incredibly classy with the way that they, um, they handled this whole situation. They saw the opportunity. They saw my excitement and um, got behind um, what I was doing. So um, um, I, I want to thank all those people. That being said, today's about the future of this team. And uh, Jed talked about it's time to get to work. The work's already started. And uh, we're having a lot of fun putting this thing together. Um, People who know me well will tell you that I'm not into a whole lot of promises, but I, I will make a few. And uh, I've, I've, I've been pretty clear in saying that this week. Kyle and I are on the same page that uh, we're going to uh, put together and assemble a team. And how long that takes, um, you know, we don't know. But we're going to assemble a team that will make you proud. I can promise you this. We're going to have players that will compete, that will compete every day, uh, that will compete to be the best that they can be. They're going to be great teammates. Uh, we're going to have a team that plays fast. Uh, we're going to team, have, a, have a team that uh, plays physical. Uh, we believe in those things. And we're going to have guys with great character, football character. And we're going to have guys that are, are interested in making their community a better place. That's important to Kyle and I. And it's important to Jed. Um, you know, I, I, I could not ask for better partners in the uh, process and the challenge that lies ahead. And Jed and Kyle, uh, this thing moved pretty quick. We were just in a gathering back there. And, uh, you know, I think it surprised everybody how quick it, it, it went. Um, but like I said to the folks back there, uh, when I decided I, I wanted to marry my wife, that went pretty quick, too. And that's doing pretty well 23 years later. So um, I trust in that. I think you, when you know, you know. Uh, I understood what a great organization this was. I had the opportunity to play for Bill Walsh uh, at Stanford and uh, really just was enamored with the 49er organization, all it stood for. Mike Shanahan came. Uh, before that, it was Denny Green, who was very involved in the, in the 49ers and, and knew the 49er way. Uh, Mike Shanahan uh, had spent time here. And we talked about the standards of performance, all those things. And that's what I very much believe in. Um, but, but Jed's passion, we just kept checking boxes on things that we were aligned with in terms of how you, how you do uh, build a championship football team. The same thing can be had, uh, said for Kyle. Um, you know, with Kyle, I, I think he's one of the brightest minds in the game. Um, he's proven that, I think, every step of, of his career. He had a big challenge because his dad was kind of a big deal in this league. Um, but Kyle, I think, um, to me, He's a guy who soaked in all the knowledge and experience of being a, a coach's son, but then went out and did it on his own and be, has become his own man. Uh, this year, he engineered one of the most prolific offenses in the history of football. Uh, the Falcons led the league in almost every offensive category. Um, 
He was a named assistant coach of the year by three esteemed outlets. He's not only a smart football man, um, but he's a leader who sets the tone through his work ethic. Um, I like it because he's, I like uh, what Kyle represents because he's convicted. He knows what he wants and uh, he's gonna find a way to make that happen. Um, I think he's innovative. I think he's aggressive. Those are all things I believe in. Uh, what Kyle and I talked about from day one, that, that this needed to be a partnership. Um, that that, that um, we saw the fact, you know, through doing a lot of his broadcasts and getting to know him, that we saw football in a very similar light. We see life in a very similar light. And uh, we understand that this has to be, um, everyone's got to be rowing the boat together to, in the same fashion from the cafeteria uh, to the equipment room uh, to the locker room all the way up to the front office. I see all my guys in the front office up here who have been hard at work in that room. They've already made me proud. And um, that's what it's gonna take to get this organization back. So uh, all these qualities when in speaking about Kyle is why I really believe he's the perfect head coach to lead this team on the field and why I look forward to working alongside him for a long time to get this place back to where we're competing for championships. And with that, no further ado, it's my pleasure to turn it over to the 20th head coach in the history of the San Francisco 49ers, Kyle Shanahan. Thanks, John. Um, definitely gonna be tough to follow all that, but um, <laughs> I, you know, I've got to start out by thanking Jed, you know, and, and the whole York family. Um, giving me this opportunity is, is it's a dream come true, and it's not just an opportunity to be a head coach, to be but to be a head coach at a place like this, where um, you talk about Bill Walsh, you talk about George Seifert, Steve Mariucci. Uh, uh, um, Jim Harbaugh, you can go down the line with the coaches and you go back to the history of the players. Um, before I get into that, also, I definitely thank my wife sitting up here, Mandy. Um, all my kids who are back at home. Um, I also got to thank the Atlanta Falcons. You know, what they've done for me in the last two years, um, it's been great. And starting with Arthur Blank, Dan Quinn, Thomas Dimitrov, um, entire coaching staff there and all the players. So it was two special years and um, it helped me get to somewhere I've been trying to get to my entire life, and I can't thank them more for that. Um, talking about the 49ers, though, it's, it's always been a special part of my heart. And you know, I moved out here in sixth grade, where, and I moved away from here to move to Denver at the end of my freshman year in high school. And you know, I had three good years here, and um, I have a very high expectation of what I've always thought this franchise is, and that was the best franchise in sports. And I remember spending all my summers up in Rockland as a ball boy, had a little um, Roll out bed in my dad's room that I would spend back then. Training camp was about a month long, and our, our connecting roommate was um, Bob McKittrick, who I was a ball boy for the line the entire time there. I remember staying up every night playing ping pong with John Taylor, who took me two years to beat him. Um, <laughs> and then after I did, then he finally told me he's going to start using his right hand. And, <laughs> and I, then I realized I never I was able to beat him. But guys like Harris Barton, Tom Rathman, Steve Young, um, Jerry Rice, just all these guys have really uh, they've been a big part of my life, even though I was only with those guys for three years. It's just those are the guys I looked up to and the guys I wanted to be. Um, had a hard time being them as a player, even though I tried my hardest. Um, it was much easier as a coach to be involved with this stuff. And uh, to be back to this, what I've always known the Niners to be, um, I can't wait to have the opportunity. And we owe it to the fans and everyone out here that together we, we bring it back to what it was. And I'm very confident we're going to do that. And, um, I wasn't ever just going to, you know, I want to be a head coach my whole life. And, but it wasn't something that I was just going to do to do. It's something I'd like to do forever. And the only way you can do that is if, if you have a good opportunity to win somewhere. And, you know, that starts to me with the, the owner and the commitment of the organization. And getting to know Jed through the interview process and hearing him talk and getting to know him as a person and what he's committed to doing, um, it gives me a ton of confidence in where we're going. And it's not easy to win in this league. It's not easy at all. But when you have everyone going the same direction, uh, that's what gives you a chance. And for Jed to allow John and I to come together and bring us in at the same time and uh, to be here with John, it's, you know, nothing's guaranteed. But I always bet on people. And in regards to the situation, I know we got, I got two guys sitting next to me who our intentions, no matter what it is, is, is to do things the right way, to commit to the right people. Um, to work extremely hard and make the right football decisions. And I keep things pretty simple in my life. I try to. There's really two things that are important to me, and that's my family and it's football. And that's really all the things I think about. And um, as sad as that is, it's true. Um, 
and that's all you guys will get from me. And you know, you don't always make the right decisions, but, but I can promise you guys, well, we're gonna do everything we can to do that. And we're gonna hold people accountable. We're gonna do it the right way. Everybody who's in this from the top to the bottom is gonna have, uh, be going in one direction. And that's what does it take to win now and what does it take to consistently win over the long haul. And we will be committed to that 100%. And I could sit up here and talk forever, but um, I'm sure you guys would have a lot more fun asking questions. So uh, we'll, we'll get that started.